Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be having a look at the new light groups that were added in the newest beta branch in Blender 3.2. And let's have a look at them. You can found the branch in the Blender launcher. It is the, no, it's not the beta, it's the alpha 3.2. Or you can found it on blender.org. If you go here onto downloads, then you can go onto experimental, this big rocket here. And then you can go on Windows, Mac OS or Linux, depending on your system. And then here, Blender 3.2 Alpha. This is the Blender version we have a look at today. And there are the new light groups added since a week or so. So let's have a look at them. For this, I will be launching the Blender 3.2 Alpha. And for showing you the light groups, I will be using a, a demo file from Blender. So we can found the demo file under download. And then here on the top, demo files. And I will be using this demo file here from Blender 3.1, the secret deer. So you can click on here if you want to. I will be having a link in the description. And then you can click here on the top of downloads and then you can download this blend file here. So let's have a look at it. The blend file looks like this. It is made it is made by Orin Cloud here. This is a very beautiful scene. For at first we will need some lights. So for that I will be going into rendered mode and then I will be using some lights here and there. I will be using two lights like this and these two I will bump up a little bit and I will adjust the colors so we have a good opposite so we can detect them better. Just like that. So we have here blue light and here red light. And now we can look at the new future at the new feature so here we have our property editor in the view layer properties if we will scroll down we have the light groups and what are light groups so light groups are different passes that you can render out and then you can mix them together so for each lamp you can have a different pass so let me show you if we want to have this lamp in a separate pass and this lamp in a separate pass, we first have to make these two passes. So you can add them here, call them blue, blue light, and then red light. But how can we now assign our lamps to those individual passes? If we would go into the object properties and if we would scroll down in the shading menu, we have the light group submenu and here we can define on which light group we want to have this light. So our blue light, I want to have in the blue light group and our red light, I want to have it obviously in the red light group. And now we only have to render this scene out. And maybe not that much of samples, maybe like that, and hit render. So now we can see Blender has rendered the scene. And now we can go into the compositing here. Those tags are handmade, so it looks a little bit like something else. And now we can see here's already something made here. I want to delete it just for the tutorial purposes. And I want to connect my viewer and the compositor in here. And on the Windows. Hello, Blender. No. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No. I just want to collapse. Yes. Yes. So now, because I want to have my viewer in here. Hello. What's going on here? Back up. Oh, I have to anyway. So now we can go into full screen and I can show you. So now we have the full image, but here we can't. So with the mix node, we can control our lightning 
But we have now our two light groups, so blue light and red light. And if we would go into this, you could see we have our blue light and our red light separately. So if we would add these two together, like this, we would have these two lights separately rendered. And we can change the density of our red light. And if we would swap these, we can change also the density of our blue light. So obviously, we haven't assigned the other lights in these groups. So we can't replicate the full light power of our full scene. But I think you get the point. So if we would now have another light here at the front, like this. And this is a spotlight maybe that's shining onto our deer, like this. And can we see it? I think I want to have white, like this. And this I will also pack into the red or blue light, I think blue light. And if we now, so let me first delete all the other all the other lights in this scene because this way we can't replicate and for this to fully work we have to disable our background because oh wait you can also have a light group for world i see it here so we can make another and call it world and then we can assign this to that and now we can replicate the whole image like this and now we can hit render again and now you can see we have here our rendered scene and if we would go now into compositing we have our our blue lights with our spotlight because it is also in this collect in this group then we have our red light and the word light. And as for now, we have only combined the red and blue light group. And now we have to also add our word light into it. And it is still not the perfect image because we forgot the emission materials, as you can see here. So we have to also assign them. So here. We have also the emission and if we had now render again, so we have now here also the emission pass and we can also add this back in here. So we add the emission to here and now we can see it should be, no, it's still not the same because the reflection are missing, but at least for now we can also define the emission strengths so we can define every single light source in our scene now in the compositing isn't that amazing so i don't want to have blue lights i turn them off i don't want to have our red light i turn that off just wonderful i don't want to have emission turn that off and then we also need reflection. So let me search. I turn on everything. So let me render again and then we can search for, I think it should be translucency in here or, the, or glossy. Let me render again. So now the render is finished. And now we should recreate the complete scene. So I think it should be gloss indirect is that right let me add them together and yes it was or was it no it was not it was gloss direct it wasn't either so it's tricky to replicate the whole fish scene but you can dim that and try to be, so this is also being added here. Yeah, so it's 
it's now similar, very similar. But now we have full control over everything. Isn't that amazing? Great. So these were the light groups. I think you understood them. And thank you all for watching. I have a material pack on Gumroad. You can check that out if you want to. There are very great materials. And if you have recommendations for more materials, let me know. The link is in the description. And thank you all for watching.